Hi everybody, welcome to On the Spectrum Kitchen. Today, we're gonna make a cupcake in honor of the 67th anniversary of the release of the classic I Love Lucy episode, Lucy's Italian Movie. So today we're gonna make a lemon basil cupcake filled with a grape compote and topped with a mascarpone frosting. Alrighty, let's get baking. All right. So first, we are going to get started on the dry ingredients. But before we do that, I've got my whisk. I'll be right back. Preheat your oven to 350. Set aside, hide some cupcake liners in the pan, pan and set it aside. Now we're going to take one and a half cups of AP flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, we're gonna whisk until combined. I know you know there's no music in the background. Today I'm having some issues with that, so hopefully we'll get to it later. All right, now we're gonna set this aside for a couple of minutes. And then we'll get on to the wet ingredients. All right, now the butter and sugar is creamed just the way we want it. All right. Next, we're going to add two eggs. We're beating them in one at a time so it can get mixed fully. I'm going to get a little spatula to help the process. <laughs> Scrape the sides if needed. Alright, now it's time to add the other egg. Alright, it's looking good. And it's not as long as I thought it would be, which is a really good thing. All right, now I'm just going to turn this off for a minute. Next, we are going to mix in two tablespoons of lemon zest. We're going to get a spoon of spray this. And we will add one teaspoon of fresh basil. I'm going to lift this up for a minute just to help get a better shot. I think it's pretty easy. All right. Next, we are going to mix until combined. Mm, you can really smell the lemony flavor come in. Keep scraping the sides only if needed. <laughs> uh, I'm still getting the hang of this. Uh, Without trying to spill it, I'm going to show you. This is what we're going for. Oh, you probably can't see it that well, but it's okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to alternate between the dry ingredients. And we are also going to alternate between half a cup of milk and half a cup of fresh lemon juice. So I'm just going to put a little of it. Right. Sorry, you can't see it. Okay. Now add the little bit of milk. Okay. 
and a little bit of lime juice. Now we're going to keep up the process until there's no more of anything to put in here. The mixer, I mean. All right. Now, here is our final product. Uh, here, I gotta start in you guys better angles. Uh, I think you can see the basil. I can. All right, now we are gonna put them in some liners. All right, here they are. They're ready to go in the oven. Now we're gonna pop them in and bake them for a good 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, now the cupcakes are almost done cooling in the fridge. So in the meantime, we're gonna start on the grape compote. Now, first things first, we are going to take three cups of grapes. I measured them out, put them in this bowl. I'm going to put them in this pot. Then we are going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch to help thicken it. Make sure you get it all. Next, we're going to take two tablespoons of granulated sugar. All right. Then we're going to take two. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Next, we're going to take a pinch of salt. You're gonna add one tablespoon of whoops, got the wrong ingredients. Lemon juice. Sorry about that. Eesh, my mind will not cooperate tonight. And we're we're going to add one tablespoon. Wait, two two tablespoons of water. Ay ay ay. As you can see, it is not my night. Now I'm gonna grab a pair of tongs that I forgot to grab. And we're gonna, I'm gonna turn on the burner. But quickly, I just gotta mix it in. And you mix it until combined. Try to mix it the best of your ability. Toss it if you have to. Now, put it on the stove over high heat. Make sure it's all stirred. And we're gonna bring the liquid to a boil. All right, now, I don't know if you can tell, but it is brought to a boil. This is what you're looking for. Now, we're just gonna give this a quick stir. Reduce the heat. The cornstarch will start to get a little uh, sticky, but it's supposed to happen. Oh, turn it up on the sink. Always keep an eye on your stove. Bring it to a simmer, and we are going to let that, that simmer and stuff for about 10 minutes. All right, compote is almost ready, and the cupcakes are almost cooled. I should should have started with this, but if you feel like some of your grapes are a little too big, you might want to slice them because quite a bit of them were having trouble breaking down. But I decided to improvise with a potato masher. It seems to work pretty well. Some of the pieces might be a little big, but you know what? That's okay. I like grapes, and I like big grapes, so maybe it'll work out just fine. Also, this is completely optional, but if you want, you can add a one and two third cup of red wine. Now you see the grapes are representative of the part in Lucy's Italian movie where Lucy stomps grapes. And grapes are mainly made of wine. So, hence the grapes. Make sure you're stirring this occasionally.
All right, the compo is done. Now, this isn't exactly what I thought it was gonna look like, but it was work. Oh, the burner. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge so it can cool. And the cupcakes are officially cooled. Here, let me get a little closer. You can't really, you can probably tell there's basil in there. All right. And once the compo is almost cooled, we will get started on the mascarpone frosting. Alrighty, now it's finally time for the mascarpone frosting. Now, first things first, we're gonna add half a cup of salted butter, one eight ounce block of cream cheese that's also been softened, and eight ounces of softened mascarpone. I know you're thinking, what is mascarpone? It's an Italian cheese. Here, let me pull a little out so I can show you. Or I just pull the whole thing. Uh, pretty much looks like this. Similar to cream cheese, I guess, but texture is different. All right, now I forgot to put this in. And. It is, we will beat this all together until nice and creamy. Scrape as needed while you go by. I mean, not all you go by. Uh, really smell the cheese. Now we're going to add three cups of powdered sugar. I'm just going to lift this up a bit for my sanity. Now it's important you sip the powdered sugar, otherwise the frosting will come out uh, clumpy. Learned that the hard way. I'm going to scrape the sides of out of attachments. And we are once again going to mix until combined. All right, next we are going to add a pinch of salt. It's looking really nice now. And we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to mix until combined. Here, let me show you. Show you how we're doing so far. With a nice angle. Yep. You can tell it's coming along super nice, a lot nicer than my stem, old stem mix rubber did. It's important not to over mix, otherwise, the frosting won't work out. Uh, this is what we're going for. I'm so happy to have the sand mixer again where there's actually a motor attached to it and I won't have to use my hand to turn it. It's still a thing to sometimes to adjust to it, but I love it. I'm just gonna try just a smidge. Mmm, not bad. It's actually pretty good. Next, we're gonna slowly add two to three tablespoons of milk or heavy cream. I am using heavy uh, milk. I'm using milk today. And we're going to mix until combined. And I'm using three for the heck of it. Now we're going to slowly add it. So 
almost got it. Alright. Now we're gonna let the rest of that mix until it is fully combined. Alright, here's our final product. It looks beautiful and it tastes amazing. Can't believe I missed out on March Pecan my whole life. I'm gonna use it from now on whenever I get the chance again. All right, now everything is cooled and ready. I'm gonna put my frosting in a piping bag. It'll be finally be time to be assembled. All right. Now you're gonna wanna cut little holes into the center. Here. Uh, holes this small, you use a core or a knife. Basically like the size of a penny, you'd want it. And just simply fill it to the best of your ability. Whoopsie. Little got away, but that's okay. As long as it landed in the cupcake, not a big deal. If you put in too little, you can put in more. If you put in too much, I don't know. That's your judgment. I gotta admit, it felt, whoopsie, really weird not having any music playing today. Let me know in the comments how you felt about that. And also, let me know in the comments how you feel about me having music in the background at all. I always worry whether or not I do it too much, or too loud, or not enough. Anyway, <clears throat> so Lucy's Italian Movie, an awesome episode, where during Ricky's world tour, they go to Italy and a casting director notices her. And apparently makes her a part, gets her a part in a film. We all know where that leads, right? Let me know in the comments. Have you seen I Love Lucy? Let me know in the comments, and if you have or not, and tell me whether or not in the comments that, hmm, what episode you'd like to have seen it. Honestly, the chocolate fact, the chocolate factory one will always be my favorite. Whoop! I missed the cupcake. It'll happen every once in a while. this to the best of our ability. I promise I'm going to work on better camera angles. If some of the compote gets into the frosting, that's totally fine. Bing. Bada boom. All right. And there you have it Lucy's Italian Movie Cupcake. Thank you for watching today's On the Spectrum Kitchen. If you saw this video, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll have the recipe in the description below for in case you ever want to make it yourself. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.